IT service management is at the heart of the IT service delivery. In the top half, we see the users who obtain services from the IT department. In order to involve those users as much as possible in the provision of the service, an informative web portal is often provided. This contains information and tips on the services which IT supplies. In addition, users can submit a request, for example for new hardware, and request support in the event of an incident. In the middle of the picture are the processes which the CIO office has set up to guarantee a consistent service for the business. The services are set out in the service portfolio and the agreements with the business concerning the services are set out in the service level agreements. The service costs are also laid down and form the basis for any on charging. The operational processes describe how, under controlled conditions, changes are made to the system and incidents are resolved and prevented. The central maintenance of knowledge and information is essential for this. These processes are often organized on the basis of ITIL. Almost every IT department uses external suppliers because they can supply certain services more cheaply. Contracts are entered into with these external suppliers and these naturally have to be monitored. The department also monitors the satisfaction of users and of external suppliers. Can they and do they work well? In order to execute processes efficiently and control them accordingly, a supporting ITSM tool is required, for example, to log calls from users. Frequently used ITSM tools are those of HP, BMC and ServiceNow. Naturally, all those ITSM processes and tools change constantly as a result of advancing insights, organizational changes, new suppliers and the introduction of new techniques. Functional and technical management of the ITSM tooling ensures that they always provide optimum support for the processes. At least as important in the case of ITSM are the professionals who work in this dynamic environment. ITSM is a discipline which can be learned, but the customer-focused attitude and pleasure in running an IT department smoothly has to be in your blood. It requires special qualities and character traits. An ITSM tool indicates the achieved performance by means of dashboards and reports. A properly set up tool contains all the management information necessary in order to continuously improve the service. The management can take place on operational and process levels and by reference to the agreements entered into with the customer and suppliers. We have now described all ITSM components except one. One that is hardly ever implemented well and therefore often causes inefficiency and rising costs. Governance. The different components are often monitored, but there is hardly ever anyone monitoring the entire landscape and providing overall control and management on behalf of the CIO. That often leads to multi-vendor finger-pointing with everyone blaming everyone else rather than working together to come up with a good solution. Governance of the entire ITSM landscape is necessary to prevent that. Contract management alone is not sufficient. The governance extends to management of internal IT demand. Because only through integrated overall management can outsourcing remain successful right from the outset.